EA Sports is proud to present the closing round coverage of this web.com tour event. Welcome to Oak Hill Country Club. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with David Faraday. So much history here. This course designed back in 1901 by the legendary designer Donald Ross. We're in Pittsburgh, a suburb of Rochester, New York, ready to play another important championship. Who doesn't have the first tee jitters? Boy, you'd never know it right there. David, how about this action? 150 yards left to the flagstick here. Got a chance for the fast start. A birdie opportunity at one. That's a whole lot of game. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14 here on the Xbox. <laughs> um, so a couple changes that I made to uh, this game. I first um, changed it to where I'm only doing one round now. I was doing four rounds per tournament, and it was taking forever. Um, sure, it's fun, and you get a lot more experience if you go four rounds. Um, you get experience points and coins every single time that you play a round. So for four rounds, if you do four rounds, obviously you get four times as much experience and four times as many coins than you do just doing a single round. And what you use the coins for, if you're not familiar with this game, basically you can use the coins to gain levels. And every time you gain levels, you get three to five uh, training points you can use to improve your uh, like your accuracy or your driving distance or your spin or your putting stuff like that so basically just like a normal sports game um, as you gain levels you get more points that you can use to train yourself and get better at the game um, so if you go four rounds obviously you're gonna be much better because you're gonna get a lot more training points a lot more experience However, it would take forever, and as you could see, um, or as you will see here in a minute, um, this game is very, very easy. <laughs> like, very, very, very easy. Um, I bumped the difficulty level up also to the next level. It was on Pro, now it's on, I think, All Pro, or I'm not quite sure. I don't remember exactly. Um, the default is Pro, so it's one above that. I might actually have to bump that up again, but uh, watching some of Crash Davis's stuff, uh, he put it on expert and still is winning. The only thing that changes is that the people that you play against shoot better scores. So you can see here, the guy's six under through eighteen. I'm already four under through eight, um, and I'm, I I pass these guys and don't even look back. Um, so I mean I don't know like. I'm not sure what else I can try. I've seen where you can put it on uh, harder modes, like uh, me and uh, Alan played a round at the Masters. And when you get to the Masters, they um, they changed, or we, we played an online match at the Masters, and what changed was that you couldn't spin the ball. Once you hit the ball in the air, you can't put spin on it anymore. So I think you'd have to do that prior to uh, actually swinging. So... Um, a lot of times, like this one, I put a lot of front spin on it because I saw it was going to land a little bit short. Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit of an unfair advantage. Uh, also, what it would do is uh, it took off the green, like all the uh, all the little grid on the green. It took a lot of that away, so it was hard to tell uh, exactly where your putt was going to go when you did the putt preview. Uh, so there was a lot of stuff like that that could make it a little bit more challenging, but to me, I think that would make the game a little bit more frustrating <coughs> than challenging. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. I mean, I, I do enjoy the game here and there because it's, it's kind of a different pace. 
Um, but I mean, if I'm winning by ten strokes, it, it kind of defeats some of the purpose of it actually being a game and more of it just being me pooping on people. <laughs> now, part of it too is uh, I'm in the amateur tour here. Basically, I'm in the web.com tour. So it's not the PGA Tour, so I'm not playing against Tiger Woods and shit like that. So that's part of it. So maybe once I get to the PGA Tour, I think a couple things happens when I get to the PGA Tour. One, I think the greens and the conditions of the, the like rough and all that kind of stuff changes a lot. Uh, I think the tee boxes get moved back, so you got to hit a little bit farther. Uh, and then I'm going up against better competition. So I don't really want to change anything just yet. Um, and you'll see at the very end of this video that I do get moved up to the PGA Tour after this uh, after this victory. So I'm hoping now that I'll be in the PGA Tour, the golf courses are going to be more difficult with uh, longer tee boxes, longer holes, um, harder rough. The green placement, the cut placement is going to be harder. I think all that kind of stuff will add up to where maybe it'll be a little bit more competition. But uh, we will see. If if it continues to be super easy to win stuff like this one was, then I'll just bump the levels up even higher and then start having to tweak some of the other settings like uh, the spin and the green reading and all that kind of stuff. Just because, again, I like to win and I like to win big, but... At some point, it's like, well, this just kind of gets boring if you're just winning everything. Um, but I do like it because I can uh, go in and unlock all new clothes and clubs and stuff, which is cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, we will catch you tomorrow. Peace.